Hey, farm peeps, how we doing? Tasha 12 here. <clears throat> and just doing a little catch up on wash or wash a hoe. And the crop right now is ready to be fertilized. And it's at night, I know. But I'm going to go ahead and have a worker do that because I've got a contract for the restaurant. They need water. And they need two truckloads. So I'm going to have to. Hopefully, we'll try it with this and see if the truck can pull it. If not, we'll just have to wait until get the worker gets done and use that tractor. Hmm. It's worth a shot. So, we'll get this done. Hopefully, the truck will pull it. I don't see why it wouldn't. It may grunt a little bit. It's going to grunt a whole lot. So, okay. We already know that's not going to work just by the way it feels right here. I'm going to have to upgrade my tank and transport system as soon as I can because this is just not cutting it. And what I need to do is totally get away from the tanker out there. And we need that right there. It is a little more expensive. And it holds a little less. But it'll be much easier. Much, much easier to transport back and forth. And we gotta find a tractor first. Oh, there it is. Hopefully this little guy will do it. We'll see. If nothing else, we'll just have to trade tractors out. Surely it can handle two loads of water. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Let's go check. But two loads of water appeal might be a little rough. You never know, especially with this little guy. But we'll try it and see. He may work. He may surprise us. I really like this tractor anyway. It's kind of grunting going uphill empty. <laughs> it may not make it full. If not, we'll just have to trade tractors. That's all we can do. But hopefully, we'll get this done pretty quick anyway. The, uh, I wanted to get the fertilization done since it was ready to do. I wanted to get it out of the way so we didn't have anything to worry about. So what's done was done. And the grass field we bought last week can also be fertilized. So we got two fertilizations ready to go. And I think in the intermission of that, I'll probably trade tractors out because <clears throat> I figure that's going to be to our benefit as well, transporting this water back and forth. See, downhill it works great. And maybe they're done with already. Hopefully, just downhills all we got to do. Back us in there, we'll get it filled up, and we'll get, we'll get our other tractor. We know it'll work. It doesn't like going uphill, but it does it. Backing this in with a dolly is a pain in the rear. That's why I kind of want to get the, uh, the upgrade, the truck. It's stationary. There's no dolly to it. And to buy a semi to pull this, you're looking at the length in uh, some places. So I think the truck would work much better. Much better. And then having to do this back and forth and back and forth. 
backing a dolly up is a lot different than just backing a, a trailer. A little harder. Short stance, short turns, back and forth. Short turns, back and forth. That's all you can do and hope that it works. Ooh. Well, didn't do a short enough turn, evidently. But we're almost there. Just about. Oh yeah, we got that. Okay, boom, there it is. And it looks like we're done. So we'll leave that filling up and we'll go get our other tractor. Like I said, we know, I know it'll do it. It doesn't like to, but it will. And then we'll take this one and put over there on the grass to fertilize it and let it fertilize while we're gone. Because, you know, let the worker do it. We pay a little bit more at night for the worker. But I want to go ahead and get it done and get it out of the way. That way it's not lingering around. And what's done is done. It's already taken care of. And I really need to pave these roads so I know where I'm going. Because I cannot see at night on here. <laughs> I just, it's... Yeah, the roads all blend in. They all look the same. So I need, uh, I guess, white roads against this dark ground. I have no idea what I need, actually. Something I can see, you know that. Because that is crazy. Oh, beautiful. See, coming up nicely. Let's make sure it's fertilized before we go any further. Let the game save. Needs lime. Huh. Well, isn't that a pickle? His lime is turned off. Nice. Okay, so that just adds to it. So, we'll detach that. Move this tractor out of the way. Hook this one back up. And go fertilize the uh, grass. If it'll let me. There we go. And then come back and lime this. Oh, Pete's sake. If it's not one thing, it's another. We'll just cut across right here. Turn the lime off and you still have to lime. Makes no sense to me. Giants? I think that needs to be fixed. Anyway, it'll have to be done, so why not do it? Now, we've got the worker on that. Now, he's fertilizing our grass field, so we're going to get more of a yield from grass on that, and we can make more silage, which in turn makes more money. And that's what we're after right now, so we can actually grow our farm. So now let's go get our water and fulfill our uh, contract to the restaurant. And then we'll come back and lime. I figure both fields, because I figure the, uh, the grass field is going to have to have it as well. But now there's a problem. Getting the free lime. There's the deal. However, I think I'll go ahead and take out the loan 
for the conveyor and take it down there since I'm going to have to lime all this. And it'd just be more beneficial to me if I'd done that. I wouldn't have to go back and forth and back and forth. I can take my tipper and bring a load of it back to the farm and offload it here so I have it. And just save a trip back and forth numerous times. Getting some lime. I mean, it'll be a little cost costly at first, but once it's there, it's done, it's taken care of. There's no problems with it once that conveyor is in place. It'll just have to make a little extra money to pay it off quicker. That's all we can do. But with the uh, the water sales contract that we have with the restaurant and the uh, mineral rights that we own, I think it'll work out. I think it'll work out. And not to mention that, our crop sales from the silage. So we still have that coming. And we need to go check on it and see. It may be fermented enough that we can sell it. Maybe. But let's get these two trailer loads to the restaurant before they open in the morning. If we can find our way. Because in the dark, these roads are hidden very well. And we're just a little ways from it, so. I'm not even on the road, but I don't guess it matters. Eventually, I'm going to have all these paved or concreted. Be a lot of concrete for the farm, but... I think I'll eventually do it. Ooh, the tractor's grunting. It don't like doing that. But it's doing it. That's why I'm thinking we need the truck. It'll be better on the tractor. And we can get there quicker. Which in turn saves money because it leaves more time for us to do stuff. Right up here. easier on the tractor. I took a wrong turn. Whoop, there it is. See how the tractor's just, just not wanting to do it at five mile an hour. But we'll get there. Even at four mile an hour, we'll get there. Now, I don't want to take a loan out for the truck. I want to actually buy it outright. So we'll have to see what our silage sale gives us and go from there because that's one thing i want to do is upgrade our truck and we'll get a little bit of money back off the trailer and the dolly here because i'll sell it because i'll be using the truck because the truck it's I me and granted we it's a little bit more expensive a little more expensive but with the i think the longevity of it and the quickness i think it'll pay for itself It holds 25,000 liters versus the 30,000, I think this is. But it goes uphill a lot faster than two, three miles an hour, too. And it's easier to maneuver since it is a smaller vehicle. And the backing problem is solved. That's what I'm talking about. But we're trying to do things efficiently and as cost effective on here as we can. But that being said, sometimes you have to do a little extra to get done what needs to be done. So here's the first load of water delivered. And we just have one more. So I'll go back and get that done. And I'll be back with you in just a minute.
All right, we got all that done. I'm gonna go get a tipper. And we will come back and get that thing full. Now that I've bought the, uh, huh, the conveyor and the truck you just seen, we will get this thing rolling. We wanna do it the most cost efficient way However, in the most efficient way, however, the most efficient way may not be the most cost effective and the cost effective may not be the most efficient. So basically we're just doing it the totster way. We're doing it the way tots would. That's, that's the way we're doing it. And I don't think I'm going the right way. Maybe I am. We're just gonna play this out and see how it goes. I think I'm going the right way. Maybe I'm going the right way. I hope I am. Because I don't want it to turn around. Come on. Yeah. Okay. We're going the right way. We got this. Oh, yeah. Just don't look like it. Not with all that the road the way it is. Hard to tell which way I'm going. Back out a little bit so I can get a a better view. Maybe that'll help. Maybe. No guarantee, but it's possible. And our tipper should be right over here. Yeah. Boom, there it is. Now we'll go back and get a load of lime and come back here on the farm. Like I said, there's a, I'll have to find it. I know there's a section on the farm that holds the lime. So I'll do that. And then I can fill up my spreader, which I'm hoping the fertilizer that we just bought does lime as well if not i'll have to sell it and get one that does both because that's essentially what i want to do since i'm going to have to lime might as well just do both get one that does both and if you noticed in there when i was uh, putting the conveyor into the lime you have to get that just right it, it doesn't really want to work because of the tracks, they'd like to block it. But if you just keep trying to keep trying, it'll eventually drive up on in there, like as you've seen. It's a pain in the rear, but once you get it in there, all you have to do is just leave it because the conveyor never has to move. And it saves you from taking buckets and buckets and buckets back and forth, back and forth. It saves a little time, a little effort because you can put the conveyor in there and voila, 
no more buckets. No more backing, uh, going back and forth and dumping and everything of that size, trying to fill your tipper up with a bucket. You can just pull up under it and there you have it. Makes life so much easier. Set the cruise on that puppy. And get the lime and I'll take it back. Offload it and hopefully fill up our spreader. And then I'll put the worker to lime in it. There we go. I can see it. We're almost there. I see the, the lights of the, the the shop anyway, the building. There's the there's the mine shaft. You know you'd think I'd seen that earlier. Huh. Oh well. I can see it now. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. And what might that problem be? Let it save. I bet it's the tipper. It is probably not up for the lime. No, it is. All right. So. What? When I ended that a pickle. I don't know how to have access. It's free lime. Well, I'll have to work at this. Isn't that just a pickle? Just a pickle. They must have changed it. Because that should offload. Just like that. You have to be smarter than what you're working with, I guess. It obviously helps. <laughs> Whoops. Squirrel. Alright. Now that we figure that out, and it does still work. Get a load of lime and we'll take it back. And it holds quite a bit of lime, this temper does, so we may not have to have a second load. Hopefully, we won't. I'll get this filled up. I'll get it back to the farm and we'll get those limed. Check back next week to see how it all goes. Thumbs up would be great. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we'll catch you next time.